Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to How We Cruise. <laughs> hey, everybody. Can you hear us? I think so. Give us a oh, let me go over to the chat. All right there. Make sure everybody. Oh boy, everybody's coming in already here. I want to make sure that my yeah. microphone is on. Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. I'm should be getting some sound, and I don't feel like I'm getting some sound. Hey Meg, cruise knots. Can Google see and hear. Thank you guys. Hey, what's hey, up, everybody? Leg. Cheryl, Jonathan. Let's get up to the top of the chat and welcome everybody in. Mm -hmm. Start off the same way we always do. Drop in, uh, drop in the chat. Say hello. Say where you're from. Uh, let us know when you're going to be cruising. Show us that cruise countdown. So we'll see everybody here. CME is here. Uh, cruise knots makes fun. Oh, the uh, Guga and Rob are here. So start going through these. All right. Have luggage will travel. This is the fifth time we're in the Sea Lake Journey. They're all over the place. You know, that's what we're talking about. This is a uh, this is a great uh, great community here that we have. We we're just over on on Moonland Adventures travel. We popped in on on uh, I think it was SCT last night. Um, so this is this is a little different. And look who we have with us here. Bill from MGM is here. So we're going to be bringing them on in a little bit. But before we get to that, we just wanted to, uh, you know, kind of say it's been kind of a busy week for us yeah, here. Sorry we missed you guys last week. I know. We Work stinks. Yeah, Bri's like, do you want to do it without me? I'm like, uh, I'll mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So he was working and I was catching up, watching everybody else's videos and stuff that we missed. So, yeah, but good so stuff. Yeah, so it's been been a busy week. We uh, so for everybody who was with us, we want to you know big shout out. Thank you to everybody. We uh, we passed our first big milestone for us, so we're very very thankful. Um, we popped in uh, on Parker's on the go uh, chat a couple couple was that last Thursday a yeah. week ago Thursday, and uh, we were at like nine hundred something nine ninety something. Yeah, Brandon said, "Hey, let's let's get those guys over a thousand And within a couple minutes, uh, everybody in the chat yeah. there helped us out. Picked up a couple subscribers it was great. there. So, so, thank you guys. We uh, yeah, we Alicia, crossed that threshold of a thousand. So yeah, we feel really good. Eddie, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Open in the house. So they're watching on the TV because computers uploading video, so chat is limited. So hello to everyone. Yes, we watch on the TV all the time. All the time, we, all day today. It's actually usually <laughs> well, it's, we have one on the TV upstairs and one on the TV in the playroom. Well, you and, you worked again today. Yes. So he only he only just got home a little bit ago. Got to pick We've been trying to like somewhere. catch up and make sure that we were ready for you guys, but I'm still you little, just got home. Still a little discombobulated trying to figure and out uh, the kids which way's up here. We're at Grandma and Papa's. Yes. So I had time to actually get a little bit of housework done, pick up and catch up on some other stuff. And, and the whole time I had all y'all's YouTube playing in the background. I was just like playing. And then I'd go over and I'd like search again and, you know, whatever. So I'm, I'm Griswold's catching up on are here. Us. Hey, Griswold's. Laura's here. I thought I saw Huddle too. I thought Eddie's here. Or is, or is Eddie not here right now? Oh, no, Eddie's here. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. All right, I'm catching up in the chat right here. So, is it, is it plugged in? Is that he, he giving me trouble again? Huh? So I had a little audio difficult. So I pride myself on being a little bit of a techie geek here. So we've got a little complicated setup here with multiple screens. We got a screen over here. We got a screen over here, uh, just so we can see the chat and see see what's going on. And I had to embarrass myself very thoroughly the other night and. Uh, well, that's what happens when you go, <laughs> you want to jump on? And I, I we're like well, doing like their fault. things. They and invited like, us. Uh, you know, you guys are always on in the back. Like, everybody, like, we're watching you guys. We're following you all. And you got to know. We're always inviting, listening and watching. And you're like, hey, you want to jump on? You got to know when you're inviting crazy people, crazy things are going to happen. So we're you invited people. crazy and we brought crazy. So that's what we did. So Sorry. Blaine is here. Hey, 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 what's up? How are you? Um, all right. Got to give a couple. We're going to do a little shout out to ourselves first. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, on uh, the congratulations yeah, on the 1K. You. We Sincerely. do appreciate it. It's it's because of you guys. And, and um, you know, we've been talking to a lot of different people about their channels. And it seems like everybody, um, you know, it, it goes the same path. And we were talking to, to Bill earlier today, and we're going to bring them on in a second, like I said. So they were, uh, 
you know, they said we're, we're just a few years behind what they're at. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit and traveling with them. Oh, Billy Jay is here. Hey, Billy Jay, I think this is the first time you're joining us. So thanks for joining us. We'll have uh, I'm glad to have you with us here. Oh, Eddie is here. Oh, hey, Eddie. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody's jumping over from Moonlight. Thank you for joining us. Everybody was just on with them. I uh, hope everybody won a prize. We don't have any prizes uh, to give away tonight. We, we have, uh, we're starting. Well, we do. We are in the process uh, now of starting our merch store. Julie's got some, mm -hmm. got some, some things that she's on. been playing Wait, with we're, here. We're, so we'll have that on some stuff. pretty soon to go. But the big, but the big news of the week, the big news of the week is um, our friend, our, our fellow Jersey friends, um, with MGM family travel that had their had their problem with their channel. So the first thing, you know, we saw from this entire community was everybody jump back behind them. And that's why we love being a part of this. Um, so hopefully um, we can get them some support. So the first thing uh, I want to do is guys. as Please long as you guys are ready, just give us a little thumbs up there and we'll just pop you guys on right now. Cause I don't think anybody awesome. wants to talk to us. I think everybody wants to talk to them. So we're going to bring them on right here and you're going to have to unmute yourselves there. Or maybe I can unmute, unmute us. Yeah, there we go. I got to do it. There we go. He's not so, techie. Yeah, little difficulties. Yeah. But... <laughs> you sure? Hey guys, Are what's up? Sure? How's the? How's the? Uh, oh, see, now he did. He did what I thought what he was gonna do, <laughs> and he's got the football <laughs> shirt on. And I was actually gonna wear my hot dog Johnny's T-shirt tonight. Oh, wow, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we got the battle of the north and the south. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who are not super familiar with Jersey, we do have our own little Mason Dixon line up here. It's called Interstate 195. <laughs> yep. And it really it should be um, two separate um, two separate states. But um, you know, we're kind enough to allow the southern half of the state to participate mm -hmm. in the real part of New Jersey up here. So oh. but, uh, <laughs> what do you want me to just like, you know, where all the smog is? You guys can have that. We you know Lucy, Lucy grew up what 10 I, miles away from the the center of the state yeah probably yeah. i grew up in bordentown so i so consider she myself is on central, the border but... i have an so... aunt that lives in bordentown mm -hmm. oh, okay so mm -hmm. she thinks there so should the be a central... I'm gonna put your guys channel right there at the bottom of the screen uh, so thank you. you can see that there so now that's, that's our do. new channel which mm -hmm. was lucy <laughs> so we, have, chat. Yes, we have one me. video but uh I'm sure a lot of people are aware of what we're going through right now. And uh, it, we're making advances. We are making advances in, in regaining back the rights to our channel. <laughs> so uh, right. we, well, do hey, well, we got 30 people here for you right now. So, you know, if you don't mind, you know, why don't you just kind of share with everybody kind of what I think everybody here knows. But let's, you know, we give you the floor. So this is well, uh, you know, we want you to have that opportunity. So all right. So we're we'll we'll because the story has changed a little bit. Um as we learn more. As we learn more. <laughs> uh, a lot of it was building smiling, which is good. Yeah. 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 She's, she's I was much a mess better. on Tuesday. <laughs> she's yes. much better. Uh, a lot of it was Bill's neglect on our email. Um it's his personal email, yeah. so he doesn't check it every day. I'm not a, a techie person. <clears throat> so um YouTube had sent us notifications uh, about, about a week before they yeah, shut us down. About a week before. We thought it was only like three days. Now we have gotten down. notifications in the past. We've we've let's say skated the edges of copyrights in in the past, and we've um, we've been told basically like don't. It's fine. We just can't be monetized for that that particular video. Like we'd play trivia, like movie yeah. trivia, and play little clips and stuff like that, which was a yeah. no no. Like we learned as we went. Yeah, it, it's a uh, but it was process. never a strike. Yeah, we've never so, gotten a strike for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, a strike is something that was new to me. Yeah. So when I first discovered we got a strike, I'm like, like the strike was very vague. Uh, because I looked at it on my cell phone. Don't ever look at your, if you're a creator, don't rely on your cell phone. Because uh, you can see much more when you go on your computer into studio Very than right. you can on your cell phone. Do It'll give you more information just if you're a creator out there. Um, my cell phone basically said that that we were given a strike for the first one minute and 39 seconds of our, our live stream. And it was called Scarlet Lady. So I'm like, wow, 
we can't use the name Scarlet Lady. So we went really? live from my yeah. sister and I were on the Scarlet Lady and we went live from the ship. And so we thought it had something to do with Virgin Voyages or Scarlet Lady. Like we had no idea. Richard but, Branson has more money than we do. Yeah. So we weren't going to mess with him. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> so we, we changed the name to Virgin Voyages and I went on to my job and la 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 and like what three days later they yeah. they took our video down and we had received a, our first strike <clears throat> and when you get your first strike it says yeah you i have had to go to to take a youtube copyright, copyright school. school which is about a five question, question. Uh, multiple choice multiple choice took me 30 seconds and then it. they said you'll have the strike for 90 days yeah. and after 90 days it'll go away and then Three days later, four days later, we received two copy strikes on two different videos. On the same day. On the same day. So that was three strikes you're out. Three strikes you're out. We were gone. Um, Just like that. Basically, when you get your first strike, the second and third are non-negotiable kind of thing. You don't get a slap on the back of the hand. And they were all for the same two-minute timer. Is what we came to find out that our two minute clock, which we had downloaded before a copyright was put on it, we we downloaded. It said free to you. Yeah. So we didn't know how you. to do it. That's kind of the things that we're learning. Yeah. Uh, it's always right. nice to have a countdown because, as you probably know, everything can be hunky dory fine before you go live, and then <laughs> when you go live, things happen. So we <laughs> test, you know, the sound again, make sure the microphone's working, make sure the Put lights the dog are right. in the crate. Like, Tell the well, cat to quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we use this countdown. We didn't know how to make one. So we took one that mm -hmm. was free and we will never trust that again. We will never again. do it again. So um, we yeah. took the, co the, the countdown in, in 2021. Uh, in February. We've been using yeah. it since February of 2021 on every single live stream so well, there are over 70 videos that that's why it was recently totally unintentionally oh yeah, yeah. never even yeah. once got a like, warning yeah. anything yeah and I somebody mean, copy wrote yeah. this as he claims to be the creator of it uh after we had downloaded it from i gotta from tell you Go ahead. Well, we're learning a lot from you guys too oh, because yeah. I, we have talked a lot about like just things that we've done and we put up and and when I like search for things and it's just music, you know, and mm -hmm. there's been times when I've gotten music from a, a source that has told me that this is free and copyright free and available to use. And YouTube has flagged it before I yep. put up the video. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. then when I went and I researched, I, I found that exact tune that I had found free and able to use and copyright free in fact was not uh -huh. so it's just like I, I you know i i'm 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 learning we're learning oh yeah if from what we're finding out people are going after the fact and copywriting stuff mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah uh, I, th I think that's a thing so yeah crazy that's, so, that's like a bunch of years ago when like you know when i first got involved with like technology stuff like people were buying websites and they were going yeah they're waiting for we, people's websites we to expire that. And then they were buying the website and then trying to sell it back to them for a higher mm -hmm. price. And it's like, yeah. you know, if they're no. buying it legally, it's nothing like you can really do about it, but yep. it's stinky. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're um, going, not, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry that you're going through what you're going through, but I'm glad that you're making some strides and, and we'll see well, what we're happens. Taking we're taking a chance. Like, we, probably, we are we are supporting you 100 percent so well, we'll give we us are some good news. you got you got some good news you said right yeah well um we've had several larger channels reach out to us that have had issues in the past and they told us to to take the next step which is to dispute it and it can become a legal battle but we did a little bit of research on the gentleman who is claiming the copyright and from everything we can gather, he is out of Hong Kong. Um, we have tried to contact yeah, him we have to try tried to, to come up with him. some sort of so compromise. We actually expected hasn't. a ransom note, we but did. Right, we didn't right. receive one. So um, we've tried to reach out to him. So we had to go through the, the 
channels of YouTube. Uh, we filed a legal dispute, and now it's it's in the ball is going to be in his court um, to actually sue us for using his copyrighted product. So okay, which go get. <laughs> yeah from Hong Kong. He has to go wow. to New Jersey federal court or and file a complaint against us. So Good. the odds are in our favor, I hope. Hopefully. Yes, knock Good. on wood. We are sending you every <laughs> positive vibe. We are sending you every, yeah, yeah, yeah. every every good in, thought and intention. And, and but the there's support, a lot of people behind you. Yeah, Thank the you support so that we have gotten uh, with, we changed our channel to MGM Family One, which was Lucy MGM in the chat. And I think at this point, we, we've surpassed 300 subscribers in less than a week. Which is amazing. Yeah. So we do want to say that, like the amount, the outpouring, like I was a wreck on Tuesday yeah. because we've worked years and countless hours and sleepless nights trying to put out content. And I mean, you guys know it is so, and we have full-time jobs and kids mm -hmm. and lives yeah. outside of this. Right. It's so much work. I was so devastated, not to mention we had family um, yeah, videos was... and stuff that we stored on YouTube, I wasn't which is another out. thing. Well, I'm better now. <laughs> Tuesday was a little raw. Uh, but uh, that is, that's the biggest lesson we've learned. Don't use back it as a, uh, yeah, back as everything. a storage. We were thinking, mm. oh, it's free storage before we started making content. I think Guga and Rob actually shared a video today about backing up your YouTube. Yeah, I saw that. That's yeah. you know what? We put a, a good link out there. So if you're a creator, that's something good to check out. Um, but I like Eddie's plan the best. If he's uh if you try and steal something in Jersey, you're gonna get your kneecaps. So, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Eddie, yeah. Eddie's learned a lot about Jersey in his one little trip here. So <laughs> Yeah, this guy's from China. He doesn't know who he's messing with. <laughs> We're going to go down swinging if we're going down, that's for sure. And I'm, and I'm going to guess this one's Josh, not Amanda. But you never know. It could be Amanda. <laughs> Think of a ride in the swamp in Louisiana. So you got to some swamps in Jersey. <laughs> uh, Moonlight hey, had man. a good one, too. You don't, miss, you don't mess with this community. Like, <laughs> no. We stick together. There we go. We, we got Moonlight together. there. We got, we, so you got everybody on your side there, right there. But... um. I'll tell you, we just checked, and we got you. You're you're up to 305, and we got oh, wow. 37 wow. watching now. So let's see if we can get let's see if we can get that up a little bit more. So everybody watching, reach out to at least one person and see if you can get a couple more subscribers for them. Yeah, thank um, you so much. Before we jump off this slide here, but but you know, you did talk about you know, and, and Bill and I were talking about this earlier. How you guys kind of started with this with with family, your family videos, your family cruises. So since Lucy, you look a little bit more ready to talk about it like let's talk about it. like how you got into like how did who whose idea like hey let's take these let's take kids on a cruise because we realized that that was a really oh. bad idea <laughs> it's a bad idea no i so I he had him. never he had never <laughs> i forced him to go i had been on uh cruises like four cruises i think before i even met him i cruised in the 90s and the early 2000s and then i had kids and yeah, do things we're a blended family this is our yeah. second marriage so. yeah okay. so we're blended we have no kids together um <laughs> and when we first got together you know our trips were disney universal we had no Bush money Gardens. we had no money i mean when no we money. first got together yeah, yeah no money we went camping that yeah. was our, our our vacations were in a tent like kind of thing. So. <laughs> well, and it, we had a camper, but yeah. um, so when the kids were teenagers, we decided, okay, you know, I'm looking at. I didn't know anything about the kids clubs or anything because I had only cruised as an adult by myself. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, I think my kids will be <laughs> okay, and we we did a, a an itinerary. Like we were in a different port every day kind of thing. So if they were bored, we're not stuck with teenagers on a ship who are miserable. That would make me jump overboard. We did so. that at Disney. Yeah. We had one at Disney that didn't smile. It was like $3,000 later. Not one smile. So, <laughs> teenagers are fun. Yeah. Teenagers are a blast. You'll love it. You have that memory now. <laughs> I bet you don't let them forget it. <laughs> the shorts right, have seven don't. kids under 16. Yeah, so Jonathan Short, they, they are going, they're they're living our lives and we we have met them. And their kids are great. Yeah. But uh they actually their kids actually enjoy they have a camper and everything. They're going, they're living our lives. Mm -hmm. So 
They're just a couple years behind us, kind of like you guys. Just a couple years yeah. behind us. Yeah, we're right there. <laughs> so cool. But uh, we, we, Lucy talked me in to going on our first cruise yeah. after dropping like 30 grand in Disney over the years. Over the years. And um, I looked up every video on YouTube about sinking ships, every <laughs> rough seas you could imagine. He put me through the ringer. Yeah. Every, like the, the furniture sliding from one side to the other, I, I found them all. <laughs> Right. And I sent them to everybody that was going on this cruise. It was a lot of our family members. And uh, she got me on the ship. And somehow I was hooked. Yeah. more I probably, if possible, more hooked than I was already. So. Yeah. I was like, this only cost how much? And, and <laughs> how much did Disney get out of me over the years? <laughs> yes. That, that, that was, was a conversation blast. at work today, actually. Yeah, we were talking about, you know, the, the Disney versus the cruise versus, you know, what, what's what's the best family vacation? And I don't think there's a bad family vacation, no. really. No, there it's really isn't. With it's family. You go and have a good time. So. But if you remember when I met you, I had been a cruiser and he really wasn't. And I'm like, come on, we got to go on a cruise. And he's like, ah, I like Disney and I like all inclusives. I do. And now I like cruises, too. <laughs> there's no bad vacation, right? No, there's no. There really isn't. No, my really my go to was, she wanted to go to Mexico. I'm like, well, Disney has Mexico. Like, she wants to go to France. Well, Disney has France. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> we did our honeymoon in Disney. We actually honeymooned in Disney. We did around the world in Epcot, and uh, oh, it was wow, there you go. That's awesome. Uh, that's cool. Very. You got cool. at least one drink in every country. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's a challenge. Well, that's that's a that's a challenge to do that. We uh we have not been to Disney in quite a few years. No, we're due. We're, we're due, due, especially with the with the kids, the ages that they are right now. But the yeah. last time, last couple times we were in Disney, or the last we time tried we were in Epcot. No, I think I was like pregnant like two times in a row. Because oh, wow. Katie and Kevin are only eleven months apart, they're super close. Yeah, and like I couldn't, I couldn't have some of the food. I couldn't have any of the drinks. <sighs> oh yeah, we went during the food and wine festival. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. I was just like, you were really mad at me then. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I can't believe we're here now. <laughs> See, I'm here now because there was no ship for her to throw me overboard on. Because, <laughs> you know. It was like throwing throw you out of the gondola, and you can stand up in the in the you know the little the river boat that goes from uh, what Epcot to MGM or whatever. There you go. <laughs> well, we do love Disney. Uh, don't get us wrong, but uh, we have found that in our minds that the best bang for your buck is cruising. And have you ever done a Disney cruise? That was going to be my question. We haven't. No, it's on my list. Every time we look at a Disney cruise, we're like, we can do two carnival cruises yeah. for that price. Sometimes three. That is the conversation cruises. that we have a lot too. It's just like yeah. the the money that you can get on the other lines for what Disney is. Yep. And you've done Disney, and I have not. And I would love to experience Disney, but I just can't justify nope. the price tag when What's you that? can get when we know what we can get elsewhere. So. So I, I did a three day Disney cruise back in two thousand three before I really knew anything um, before Julie and I met and it was an argument over where we should go on vacation whether it should be Disney or a cruise so I came up with this wonderful idea of a uh, land and sea package that uh, Disney was selling at the time mm -hmm. so we did that and I really had no clue and and you know we were talking to uh, um, have luggage will travel the other day and, and the funny part of that story came up where I said, yeah, I remember the main thing I remember from that cruise is walking over the bridge in Nassau from Atlantis back to the cruise port. So if you're familiar with Nassau, anybody in the chat, you know that that what kind of walk that is. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was a normal thing to do. And now that I realized that I'm. I said not... the other day, I never would have let you. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it was. Here running for me. Oh, yeah, it was raining. It was raining. It was raining. <laughs> Yep, it was raining. Um, we have some great memories from that Nassau Pier Runners. We love oh. that. <laughs> I don't want to say this on a live, but it's, it's, it's a wonder that. Nah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, Nassau, Nassau has not been uh, <laughs> Nassau has not been kind to us between <laughs> rain and sea lice and and all sorts of stuff. Oh, oh wow. wow! Yeah, no, we have not. not Nassau has not been, but we're going back to Nassau. <laughs> 
we next are. year. So it seems yeah. it keeps calling right. us back on every cruise we book. NASA all seems to be part of our our itinerary. So. Well, what is what is what is your next cruise, guys? I think you have a big one coming up. We were talking about kind of. We do. We're on a group <laughs> cruise that uh, two weeks from tonight. So two night, two weeks from Woo-hoo! tonight, we'll be sailing we'll be away in. from Miami yep. and off on our next adventure. We're very excited about that. So we are on. It is called the BBD Rum Run. Uh, well, we won't elaborate on that, but it is <laughs> being hosted by a channel called Midlife Crazy, Brad and Kimberly. Right. And uh, it is with 60 of our closest friends, <laughs> 62, I believe. Yep. And How many in the chat to are going to be on the BBD Rum Run? Drop most of these people are. On there. <laughs> there are. Yeah, there are definitely people in the chat that yes, are on, that the are on this uh, BBD Rum Run. So uh, it, we have Absolutely. been planning this since mid pandemic yeah mid, mid pandemic Ooh. excuse me um oh yeah. my goodness it really is it's been Mary Ellen a, a be lot there. of planning let's see who else would be there. so where does it go uh we're going to ocos rios uh or ocho rios uh grand cayman and cozumel awesome. yeah cozumel Great. is going to be uh one of the pure runner ports too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you always hope, you know. Do you know what you're going to do in Cozumel? What's that? Do you have any plans? Do you have any plans in Cozumel? Yes, yeah. we're going to Paradise Beach Club. Okay. So we have not been there yet, but we are we, we are, are still, planning to go there. So we are still. A lot of people. On, we haven't I, done Mr. Sancho's. We haven't. But a lot of people that have been on the cruise have done it, and it was a toss up between the two places. But uh, I've been to Paradise Beach Club yeah. without Bill. And I wanted him to go, so we were going there no matter what. Awesome! So, well, nice. we'll, we'll definitely. Well, that'll be our. So we're going. Out. Our next big group that we're doing, we're going to be part of the Vloggers Extravaganza in January. Okay. And that has a paradise. What's well, that? The stop. next? Yeah, we have. The, that's yeah. our big. That's our next yeah. time we're participating yeah. in a group cruise. It's not our group. It's we're participating. Yeah. Um, but that's uh, you know, are going to be our first time at Paradise Beach. The previous two times we've been to Cozumel, we did Mr. Sancho's. Uh, once without the kids and once with the kids. And um, yeah, I think both of those vlogs are pretty hilarious if you ask me. So <laughs> we, um, we checked out a lot of your vlogs today. Uh, you guys do a really great job. Really do. We enjoyed oh, them you. very, very much. So. Thank you. Oh, Julie does a great job with the editing. She cuts out all the stupid things I say, but we, we <laughs> right. love that you showed, you showed New Jersey the way it should be showed and shown. Um, most people think of New Jersey as being a suburb of New York or Philadelphia, yeah. and it's yeah, not. Totally. It is a beautiful state. Um, Guys, we got six acres. We live in the middle of the country. We're an hour outside of New York. Uh, we're we're more north than you. We're an hour outside of New York. Mm-hmm. We're just under two hours outside of Philly. Well, we've been hold and on. You guys I, can speak for I, the exact I, same thing. Where you I got to interrupt one second because we just did a cool thing here. Uh, I've been watching the chat a little bit here and six traveling shorts were just short of 300 and thanks to you guys in the chat. We got six traveling shorts. Awesome. Thank you. Over 300. We we have actually, we have actually met them and they are great. people. Awesome. That's amazing. Thanks guys. So congrats to them. Great stuff. But, um, you know, being from being that we're both from Jersey, have you guys cruised out of either the any of the New York ports, New York or Bayonne? So I've cruised out of New York a couple (laughs) times. I cannot get this guy to agree to go out of New York. I keep telling him how much more convenient it is because you don't have to fly. You don't have to go the day before. Uh, I worked worked in Jersey City and Newark and. So for him, cruising out of Bayonne is not. I I don't really want to cruise with. I'll say it, New Yorkers. <laughs> I get that. I, I get that. I, totally I, get that. <laughs> I will say it. I'm sorry somebody was from Brooklyn earlier. I, I don't want to uh, hurt Eddie, your feelings. Okay. Well, Eddie, Eddie moved out of Brooklyn, so we'll, we'll okay. let him know. Well, he's smart. He's, but he's a smart Brooklyn man. <laughs> All right. But, uh, but yeah, no, we we so maybe maybe we'll be able to talk you into our group cruise in June. Then maybe that's what we'll get you. We'll get you on the Oasis of the Seas out of Bayonne. We, we have really talked about it, and we have a lot. yeah, because yeah. every year we say while the Oasis is here, we're going to jump it's on. Right and every year, if you're available at June 23rd, we still got some cabins left, and we got we have pretty Ooh, we got schools out too, right? June 23rd, yeah, schools out. Yeah. 
you're fine. So, yeah. so we'll send you a message, but okay. Okay. Have have consideration. Oh, hold on. We got, we got some, we're going to help somebody else out here. We got have luggage will travel says somebody needs their first hub, their first hundred. So who's that right there? That is, hold on. Who are we doing there? Who are we helping out now? Let's see. We got to get somebody else there. I don't know. Brian, Brian gave me instructions of oh, this, this live. Oh, he said, stop trying to read the live. I'll take care yep. of the live and you just talk. Well, I've been having fun talking. So now so I've I'm been, not I'm reading the live and I feel like I'm well, out of a loop. I'm relying on Josh and Amanda right now who are doing a fantastic job, by the way, guys. Thank you very much. Um, but Leonard Family Fund is trying to get to 100 and they're very close. So let's get them up there, too. So but, um, you know, that's, that's kind of what we love about this. So, um but yeah, the, but talking about cruising out of Jersey, we'll get you on that one. But um, the the unfortunate part about traveling out of out of the Northeast is about as far as you can get without going on a longer cruise is getting down yeah. to Nassau. About as yeah. far as you can get. Um, I mean, it's still warmer than New Jersey in the winter time, but um, you know. Well, we did a cruise on MSC. And I think the high temperature in any of the ports was what, 72? That was in January. Yeah. There so it, it yeah. can be cold in the Caribbean also. So. Leonard Family Fund, you're at 100. All right. Yay. All That's right. That's the culprit right there. Blaine from Rayleigh Creative Travel. Lane He's the reason we, we go live. Yeah. <laughs> He's the reason you go live. Yes. <laughs> he did a, during the pandemic, he did a cruise of thought and asked us to be part of it. And I said yes. Without even consulting Miss Lucy here. It's the best thing that ever happened because I would have said no. <laughs> <laughs> and we were part of the cruisathon through the pandemic and we've been going live every Tuesday since. So we've only missed a mm -hmm. handful of them. Well, we but, will be uh, sure to be with you on, on Tuesdays. Hi Tuesday. Amy. Sorry, I just saw that, that's a oh, okay. that's a new new uh person oh, jumping in our live. I mean great. I know who it is, but <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Dave and Brandy. You got to come with us. Hey, Dave and Brandy. We will be cruising with them. So, well, we're trying to talk it's Dave and Brandy into the tri state cruise. We got to come up well, with the tri state have, cruise. I agree. They're one of the uh, channels that we have talked about. Holly and Brian and Dave and Brandy, or, and Mama D. I don't know if they know D. Miss, it's called Incognito, is her channel. Uh, we're all from this area, and so we keep saying we have to do like a northeast. There's, there's more I'm forgetting. I'm sure yeah. but we really yeah. need to do a northeastern. Um, well, cruise. look, they've already yeah. got it all worked out. We just got to sign up. <coughs> yeah, well, we're gonna <laughs> right? all worked out, as in brainchild idea that has gone absolutely nowhere just yet. Because... <laughs> um. I don't, I don't want to like, like, like mess up the flow here, but I just, I, this has been sitting in the back of my head and I haven't said it yet. Um, your shirt speaks for itself, but <laughs> let's, 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 end, let's end the debate right here. Is it pork roll or is it Taylor ham? It's pork roll. <laughs> I knew I loved you. <laughs> it's pork roll. It's scrapple. Uh, we but, we love our cheesesteaks down here. Uh, oh, why yeah. you got a better cheesesteak than Philly? Uh, I, I, we do not have che good cheese. I mean, we have okay cheesesteaks up here, but we don't have great cheesesteaks up here. But we do have some some mean pork roll egg and cheese, salt pepper check. Yeah, ketchup on a, on on a Kaiser. Kaiser. On That's a right. Kaiser. <laughs> See now, uh, I, uh, I I prefer the everything bagel. I like the egg everything. I per personally, if I make it at home, I make it on a wrap. Yes, I, most do. people don't like that, but that's what I like. You so. do. You yeah. do. <laughs> We've done bagels, but we all we do yeah. Kaisers too. We've done it on bread and fried the bread too. I mean, we eat it yeah. probably every two weeks. Yeah. Well, that's you mentioned you mentioned fast, scrapple. I had scrapple for the first time about like ten years ago, and I think that's probably the last time I'll have scrapple. Oh, yeah. Geez. If you don't grow up on scrapple, it's an acquired taste. I think that's yeah. more of a Philly thing than the, a Jersey thing. But I grew that's up on scrapple, right. so. Yeah. Now we're learning we're learning all sorts of uh cultural uh stuff around this country. We learned uh I think that in the last couple of weeks I've be I've become like like hard set on finding out how to get pork roll onto cruise ships. I think every yeah. cruise ship should have I'm gonna have to cut it for pork second. roll. I agree. Be We've right actually now. been researching ways especially if it leaves, leaves out of like New York or New Jersey. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, that would make it easy. We were we were researching ways to ship pork roll. Um, uh, 
for anybody for anybody in the chat right now going the hell is poor <laughs> well my favorite was who was it was it was it Perker didn't go no, no no maybe it was um danny maybe it was uh Somebody said, oh, oh, you're actually talking about me. I was like, yes, I'm actually <laughs> talking about me. <laughs> it's actually pork. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then and then I don't even know what Scrapple then, is. I, I think it's just like what's left over on the pan. Yeah, you're something. better off not knowing. It's cornmeal and kind of everything that's left over. And you deep fry it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds gross. If I had known before I tried it, like when I was a kid, I never would have tried it. But I, I grew up on it, so it's all good. Well, my rule on a cruise ship with the kids is, especially because we, we like to eat in the main dining room, is they yeah. have to try something new or something they wouldn't ordinarily try or order, mm -hmm. like, every every time. Now, what's some of the stuff what they've tried? What better places they, they to try. do that? I mean... They tried what alligator bites or something? No, Kevin, we've done that. You don't like it? Frog legs? Have you tried that? I, I uh, love Brian frog legs. likes the frog legs. Brian the likes kids usually think they're a chicken wing. Like the, we were just on a cruise. It wasn't I, our child, but yeah, uh, with, uh, with a with channel a called "Life Is Good Today," Ellie May, and she was like, "Meal, this is good chicken wing." So, <laughs> yes. I'm like, it's a frog leg. <laughs> But our kids do well, the same thing. That's a great thing about cruising. I mean, what, like you said, what better way to try something new? Yeah, yeah if, if you don't if like it, you have a restaurant at home, you know, yeah. we're we're gonna purchase it, and then they're either gonna like it or not like it or whatever. When you're on a cruise ship, it's part of the menu. It's whatever, especially if it's something that we like. But I'm gonna tell you, part of my rule. So this one, I'll try new stuff too. I like the good <laughs> one too. Me too. <laughs> she tried snails for the first time, and I she's did. like. Oh, I tried it. I, I it's don't like a need mushroom. to ever try it's it a again. Mushroom. It's, it's, it's very earthy. It is kind of mushroomy. Yeah. It's a cross between a clam and a mushroom. Do you like clams? No. I'm allergic <laughs> to seafood. But uh, oh, the Ryan claims yeah. he's allergic to seafood. It just makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic uh, to shellfish, not seafood, but shellfish. Okay. <laughs> but we have been like on cruises where my father-in-law ordered like four lobster tails and he got four lobster tails like where can you go and just i want mm -hmm. three desserts <laughs> like, yeah. it's it's times where the, the waiters even said to us he's like i recommend why don't you guys get and get this too yeah. and split it just try it like get it and try mm -hmm. it and whatever and if, you know what I, I i actually love that for the kids i want them to try new things i actually want to so. click on some of these here other people saying stuff they've tried here so let's see some of the stuff here Oh, 500 travelers hey, joined us. I was thinking about you guys today. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's just talk about some of this other food. Stuff. I have to really? leave the chat if you answer wrong. Uh. Wait, who's that? <laughs> Laura. <laughs> and those pork roll. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's so hard to find pork roll. Down. Okay, we're still, like I said before, we are trying to find a way to ship pork roll. If you need pork roll and you are outside of New Jersey, contact either us or... MGM family yeah. travel, and we will, we will be your source for pork roll. Um, right. We'll just find a way to do it. Uh, her her yeah. parents are transplants. Yeah, my parents snowbird, and, and they found pork roll in they, Florida. My mom did, yeah, because oh, we were okay. trying to send it down there to her too. You can't go a whole winter without pork roll. When I was at Sam's Club the other day, see, Sam, the Sam's Club I used to go in New Jersey closed, so now mm. I have to go over the border of Pennsylvania because we're on the border, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. I have to go over the border. I'm in Pennsylvania and Sam's Club, and I was like, "Ooh, little Debbie's hot." They had pork roll at Sam's Club, mm -hmm. and it can I tell you, it was like the mega mega pork roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And but I was like, like seventy dollars for that mega mega pork roll, <laughs> but it lasts at least a week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Escargot, actually, I didn't think I would like it. Now I order every time. I love escargot. I get it every time on a cruise ship. It's one yeah, of the things that I absolutely have to. David Brand, should. you're not a fan of the escargot. Tried it for uh, the first time in April and the last time. Little Yeah, no, I just had that one up. Yep, yep, yep. Right, but I we just shipped Jersey tomatoes to a friend of ours in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Oh, we I we say, are there overrun is with like, tomatoes right now. There is not. I actually had I had so many tomatoes that I had to make sauce sauce or gravy. Well, that's another one. That's sauce for me, but. I had to make sauce today when you were at work because I had so many. I was like, I can't let this go to waste. 
I love cruising. Tro oh well, thank you for joining us. You, Tried octopus for the first time. On do you guys? Liberty. Do you guys grow stuff? You have a garden? Not so much anymore. We have a mastiff, so she eats everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Our, if it's is dead, little... it doesn't matter. She she'll taste it, and if she doesn't like it, she'll she'll destroy it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We're used to like our dogs being like, um, like we, most of our dogs have had like darker colored like, oh, hair, yeah. and Cruz is like very like white hair, and he comes in from outside and his skin or his skin, his hair is like all yellow because he's like because <laughs> if you have tomato plants when you brush up against yep. the tomato plant, like even your, like our skin, but the yep. dog's skin, it, everything turns yellow. He comes in and he's all yellow, and I'm like, he's in, my and in the garden well. again. He's Meg garden tried again. lobster and didn't like didn't it. Didn't like it. Let's see. I tried lobster for the first time on a cruise ship. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see. Oh, Dave and Brandon, you're blaming you like Nancy and Sarah for making them try. <laughs> there you go. I can believe that. Fried Philly. gizzards, fried Philly. cheese. How it, oh, oh, here man. we go. We're, get, we're getting there. I love, good, I love gizzards. Should, oh, wait. What is it? Chicken oh, gizzards, no. right? Cocondole co po' boy. No? Chocondole. Yeah, that one. Is that, did I say right? I don't, I don't know. know. Bums up we'll, get, that right. we'll get yelled at in a minute for that one. Let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, I was watching one of our videos the other day. Pork roll spring. And you said La Chinga Luente, but you said it totally wrong on the video. And I'm like, hey, good job. You said it right. No, <laughs> I was laughing because we've been, we, we, yeah, anyway, sorry. All right. Mary Ellen Dillon. <laughs> I got it. It's done right. God in Maine. Uh, well, you said. Let's see. Explore it. We send me some, send some to California. We'll, we'll work something out. We will find a way to uh to get some pork roll out to california yeah publix has it once in a while that doesn't Ooh. surprise me are you talking about publix down in florida because there's so many snowbirds and so many new yorkers mm -hmm. and new jersey new jersey yeah. from down that go up and down it doesn't surprise me that publix might have it once in a while or so she lit, tried uh gator when she lived in florida and shark neither were were fab oh mako sharks also on the grill Life is good. This has turned into a. We need we need Wanda from uh, cruising with food. Or, there you go. Or, yeah, we need her to food, join right? us. Food, yeah. She'd be the expert here. Anyone have? Has anyone had snake? We've not had snake. Uh, well, I, I kind of want to ask a question. I'll, I'm okay. just gonna throw it out there. No, go ahead. I'm just going to ask you guys. Um, what is the one thing when you get on a cruise ship? When you get on a cruise ship that like you just can't wait to get or you can't wait to have? Like, is there one thing? Like for me, right. it's two. Like one is escargot. I always order escargot. And two is eggs Benedict. I have to at least have one morning where I go to find eggs Benedict. So, oh, we, is there you anything know? you guys have to get? So I'll say on Carnival, the thing I have to have the first day is the Funfetti cheesecake. It's only available on Embarkation Day, and it's fabulous. And I'll go with the, the cucumber it. sunrise. I've heard of it, so I'm gonna have to now. Wow. I'm gonna have to get and that. And the cucumber sunrise. That's right. You got to get that. Yeah. In there. yeah. So Tara's always great for question for us. Tara always keeps us going with the question. So we got. So what? Are, what are you yeah, he was talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> what? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just being interrupted. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, we it's Tara says, the unlimited it's dining plan on Oasis in October. What do you recommend we try? So anybody, so the unlimited dining plan. Um, so I'll say this: my one thing on Oasis that we thought that we were going to be blown away. Actually, it was Harmony that we actually, but the Oasis class was the roast beef sandwich from. Yeah. No, 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 no! Don't make this a we thing. This is a you thing. It's a me thing. <laughs> um, but that was not. What I thought, everything it was hyped up to be. Yeah, but you don't like roast beef to begin with. I mean, you're weird. <laughs> you're weird. Now roast pork. I, we're we're roast pork people here. Yeah, there you go. pork is good. Yeah, roast pork but, so, yeah you like the roast beef sandwich. No, I, I liked the roast beef sandwich. Um, but so wait, so the unlimited dining plan on Oasis in October. What would you recommend we try? Um. So a tip from Eric says sushi is, is always good on Royal. Is um, Playmakers included in the unlimited dining? Or is it only for like dinners like that are like dining room I dinners? I have to look that up. We'll have to look that up. Tara, if you, I, I mean, Playmakers has some awesome stuff. Definitely chops because, and you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, what's the park? Is it park 150? Uh, what's the the other one? Oh, one. Uh... 150 Central Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 150 Central Park That's is, is also mm -hmm. awesome. 
Um, and the Italian, you can't go wrong. Whatever kind of food you like, just definitely just, just go everywhere you can. I've even heard of people going to like, like two, like they'll go to the main dining room and then they'll go to the specialty restaurant just because they want to try different things. I mean, don't overly stuff or bored yourself, of course, but like, if you want to try something, Hey, go for it, man. Thank you. Have luggage. will travel. I have to say, I think that's what I, that's probably our first, uh, our first super chat. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. You guys. Thank you. Let's see. Leonard Family Fun says they can eat Mongolian wok daily. Yeah, we love that. Did we try Mongolian wok? Um, we missed it, didn't we? Mongolian wok. When we were on the magic. Yeah, I was going to say it's carnival. Yeah. And I tried to go there a couple times, and every time we passed by, like the line was really long, and I said, forget it. Hmm. It is good if you ever get it the was opportunity. Spicy. Yeah. Super spicy. I love spicy. The spicier, the better. Oh, oh this then you'll was love it. It's really, really good. Spicy. But it's good. It's I good was flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Zumi is the, you got yeah. the spelling right there, man. Um, yeah. Zumi is a sushi restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then uh, Destination Fun says they're trying Wonderland for the first time. That looks a little strange to me. I can't wait to go to Wonderland. I don't think you're going to like it. I don't know if our kids will like it, but. Depending next time we're on, like a because Harmony has it, who else has it? Symphony has it, Wonder has it. Mm -hmm. Next time I'm, Oasis does not have it, so I can't go on an Oasis. But next time I'm there, I'm gonna go with y'all or whoever's on that wants to go to Wonderland with me. Yeah, so Huddle says they're going on Oasis in December with some folks from Jersey. Uh, that would be you guys. Uh, no, <laughs> not, not in December, December, not December. At, oh, I and do, with some oh, oh, hold on, and with some folks from Jersey in June twenty. Finish reading. The I I got ahead of myself. I got excited. Um, and then uh, so what is the unlimited dining stuff? So Eddie, what they're talking about with the unlimited dining is the specialty restaurants. You purchase an unlimited dining plan that gives you ac accessibility to those all uh, of the restaurants. restaurants. Yeah, so all the specialty restaurants. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the 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 dining package, or that's not, I'm sorry, the um. The deluxe beverage package, it would, you know, but it's for dining. And the second one, thank you again. Have luggage will travel. Koshan Delay. Koshan Delay. Koshan Delay. Oh boy, I got it now. <laughs> On the like the Chingala, the Chilinga <laughs> That's uh, look, so. So right, that's time our, we, our next time we go to Costa here. Maya. Yes. So Costa Maya, uh, we went to uh, just by chance. We found you know kind of an all inclusive and down in Mahual. Um, it's kind of by the crazy lobster. Uh, it's called the Chingo La Wense. Chingo La Wense. And it's just a little beach club. And it's and fun drinks to say, and too. It is. But Jackie and um, Carla. Carla are there. And it's a really awesome place mm -hmm. in Costa Maya. So. Yeah. So if you're in uh, if it. you're in Costa Maya and you want to get out of that little port area, you can either uh, rent hop, a, hop, hop a golf cart or just take a taxi, taxi if you want to fight with the taxi. Do you guys have a favorite port? Oh, Half Moon K. You think so? Oh, okay. Cool. Roatan. Oh, yeah. We love Roatan. I love Roatan. Roatan's Rotan. a new favorite <laughs> port. Mm -hmm. We had a blast in Roatan. I got what'd the whole you, What did you do in Roatan? I got to hold a sloth, like a little <laughs> baby. The, there was the, a little baby sloth, too. Yeah. We didn't get to hold that it's one. But. Six foot one, 300 pound was holding a little baby <laughs> like oh i want to bring it home <laughs> that is we, uh, all our kitty wanted to do in Rotan is hold oh. off yeah oh yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what actually, we were most excited about that was that was a great video for us because we were we were i'm the only one that didn't hold us off yeah. I passed. Oh. julie is not our one. wild animal lover and i have um, to say it's my most memorable port is, is right because of that and and we the had kids, our kids, the amazing. monkeys were on their head. We, we had private tour the yeah. whole day. So we went our, around the whole island with our the kids. kids were feeding a monkey and our tour guide <laughs> came up and said, Don't feed that monkey. It's it not was a wild it's monkey. It's a wild it monkey. It wasn't one of those. <laughs> it had just popped out of it nowhere. It just jumped up on them. So they're like, Okay, they're feeding it. And uh they're like, No, that one doesn't have shots or anything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we didn't know. And then at yeah. the place we went to, they had a deer, right? A white tail deer that we see every day. And they were like in awe. And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> but the people that from Roatan were like, 
look a deer and we're like yeah, it's a deer <laughs> <laughs> we so, have yeah, Rotan, front yard every night <laughs> <laughs> Rotan was one of our favorites we did a private tour also we headed over to the monkeys and sloths and uh, my favorite moment from that is uh julie trying to get a little film of the kids and one of the monkeys sneaks up from behind her and uh and, and jumps right on top of her head and um uh, <laughs> It was, um, needless to say, it was my favorite part of every cruise that I've ever been on. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it, it's memories like that, that, that I, you know, whether you had a, a good time, like something you'll never forget. Um, no. Even though, you know, it's just, our kids tend to remember the, the bad things about our yeah. trips. <laughs> so, like breaking down, like the tire blowing out. Yeah, they remember. PA turnpike. That's the stuff they remember. Getting stuck in the airport for six hours. Or they remember that kind of stuff. They don't remember all the good that, that was actually on my list of stuff <laughs> that I was going to bring up with you guys. What, give us, Laura, give us thank your. thank you so much. I'm sorry. Oh, just, hold on. I, I got to get caught up. Thank you hold for on, that. I get caught up. That's really nice. She just, yeah. Oh, Laura, thank you so much for thank the super. Guys. Thank you so much. Um. But I want to hear what was your 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 craziest your craziest kid related story? Oh jeez, from... so we got we got a great one. You want to start or me? Go ahead. All right, we were going for uh, a Oktoberfest, which was pumpkin picking, <laughs> uh, a festival during October before Halloween. Um, we were going with a, another couple, another had, family, another they family, were, yeah. yeah um, and we were going down Route 295, which is part of Jersey, like runs parallel to Turnpike down south. And our truck broke down, our uh, excursion, I think it was at the time. Expedition. Expedition. Yeah, expedition. And we happened to break down in a liquor store parking we lot. We pulled off 295 because yeah. the truck started acting wonky. Pulled into the first, you know, parking lot we saw, and it was a um, liquor store yep. parking lot. And it was like my best friend. So her and I had packed like picnic lunch. We were doing this whole big pumpkin festival thing in South Jersey. And uh, so we, you know, what are we going to do? We have all these kids. Yeah. We had balls and baseball bats and soccer balls and everything in the way back We were back close to, the to truck. Delaware. So we were far away from any civilization. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to, it was, it was the battery, right? And so you, yeah. so her and my, him and my friend's husband had to take their truck and go find whatever they needed to fix it. And so we're having a ball game in the the side of the liquor store parking lot. We had a picnic lunch with the kids. Blank Our kids, kids, it's like yeah. the most humiliating thing, right? Because we ruined everyone's day. Our truck breaks down. Our kids still talk about yeah. that. Like it was the greatest day ever. <laughs> And we just happened to be next to a liquor store. Yeah, which is well. Our friend that we were with happens to be a, a he's a salesman for a liquor company, and he he's like, I know everybody here, so <laughs> we were like right at home, and we were there for like six hours. Yes. So, and our kids still talk about it today. Like it was yeah. amazing. It's so funny what sticks in their heads too, right? Bill, there's That's a, what there's a, there's a question for you in the chat here, Bill. Do you remember? I remember the time it well, Ronnie. I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs> the one time we tried to be a little bit naughty with our wine, we got that. <laughs> Didn't make it on. So, yeah, I, I was worried so, about trying to get something on, and it wasn't uh, us. So, two, 2011, we just we went on the uh, the uh, Carnival Liberty, right? Carnival Liberty out of yeah. Miami, and that was when Bri was 18 months old, which was uh, that was a terrible idea. Um, but and your um, first cruise with kids, right? <laughs> our first cruise with kids, and but, we oh, took us a whole what ten more years before how, we ever tried it. How again. hard could this be? <laughs> <laughs> we have the we grandparents. Didn't go on any vacations us. at all for no. like four years straight to the point where our kids were like, "Mom, everyone goes on vacations but us." <laughs> we're like, "We can't." But they go back to that. school. They have to write that essay about what they did over the summer, and you guys didn't leave the house, right? <laughs> that was like, <laughs> oh, that was us. <laughs> but uh, we went to Hershey we, Park. Like, <laughs> yeah, Hershey Park, right? Yeah. Like, Sesame Place. Yeah. Um, Bush Gardens. We, we did it all. We went to all of them. We, uh, we, so we were at the hotel the night before, and Julie runs over to a liquor store. We got uh, bottles of wine because you can bring, you know, the one bottle, the two bottles per room, whatever it is. So we're, we're 
you know, we put everything in the carry-ons and we're, there was now. 10, 10 or 11 of us going, something like that. And we were all yeah. getting into the shuttle and I'm carrying the, the bags out of the, um, like the foyer of the hotel and putting them outside for the, um, for the shuttle. And I realized this will be easier if I just kind of toss them a couple feet and not realizing that the bottle of wine was in oh, Julie's carry on oh. and I lost the carry on and it yeah. hit the ground uh-huh. and I just heard. Uh Oh, <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, Julie wore a lot of red that cruise. <laughs> Here's a story you don't even know. It's a really quick one, but just the other day, me and Bri ran down to the school uh-huh. and we're in the school and we um, were talking to some people at the school and because I had to drop some stuff off and uh, we were talking about Nikos. Is it Nikos? No, what's the, not Nikos. Uh, what's the name of the place on 50, 46 between in like in Independence, that little store that's like across from like the, that store that has like Nobody's everything. Gonna know. I don't know, but I'm asking you. You know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, this <laughs> there's a know. store, and this store has everything under the sun, right? Everything. Anyway, I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, has everything under the sun. Like you go into the store, and you can find literally anything, and it's like the size of like a, a shoebox. And I was told that in the back they even have like it's even like a liquor store. I didn't know that, and I was like, oh, really? <laughs> As we're talking, Brian Brian goes, you had mom at liquor store. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Things you so, can count on your 11-year-old. So when you count say. on your kids, <laughs> when you were saying that you broke down and you were working <laughs> at liquor store, the first thing I was thinking of is Brian going, you had mom at liquor store. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> well, on what, our second cruise to Cozumel, we ordered a margarita at a place that ECC had oh, recommended. Oh, my goodness. It was $55, this one margarita. And it was, they held the oh bottle God. of tequila over like this. It was like, like a, I don't know, three gallons. It. it was yeah. ridiculous. It was bigger. It was, well, oh, this was $55 worth of a margarita. <laughs> Our, the, the, the well drink, worth the $55. Yeah. The drinking age in Cozumel is 18. Our daughter was, she was 17. 17 and, and I ordered this months. for myself. Yeah. I didn't know <laughs> that it was going to be this huge thing so i'm like all right you're close enough you're gonna have your first margarita in mexico (laughs) right of passage (laughs) happy cruise kids happy cruise (laughs) so it it was kind of a a breaking of the ice because we like we are a merged family and it's my biological daughter who she has taken from me (laughs) they are closer than we are now so but that might have had something to do with it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a mother-daughter bonding moment. How, how you merge families, it's, you know, you yeah. do what you got to do, That's right? Not... Yeah. Uh, Charlie and Short just said they went over to the Facebook and invited a lot of the friends to follow us on Facebook. So thank oh. you. Awesome. For not doing that. We appreciate that, guys. Um, yeah, we got you. So MGM, you guys are up at 312 now. So we're getting wow. you out crawling back. But uh, we're getting you back <laughs> up there. But hopefully you get... Um, the original channel back, so yeah. that would be that would be great news. Um, if the timeline works, we will get our channel back on our next cruise. So Fantastic. if everything goes as planned, and we will go live immediately with <laughs> sixty-two of our closest friends. So, <laughs> and we want to see every will, single one of them log, in the live. We will yes. log oh, they will be. Sure. Trust me, they will be. They'll be happier for us than we are. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Like, I mean, what happened to you guys? I mean, that's just such a terrible thing. But I, I tell you, you got to look for the silver lining and everything here. And the silver lining is like, you know, we wouldn't have this conversation, wouldn't get to meet you guys right, you know, just up and down the turnpike, you know, when, you know, you know, call your friends, call your family, because, you know, that's kind of what this is here. Um, and all these people in the chat, you know, we have 35 people still listening to us babble on here. So yeah, we have um, to get together. Guys for some, some poor I'll say it over and over again. This real, and I really mean it. And I see everybody else say mm-hmm. it too. It's such an awesome community. We are just so. Oh, it's amazing. Well, it is. So it. That and that is the silver lining, right? Like if this didn't happen, not that we didn't know people love us and we as much as we love them, right? So. 
uh, when we went live on Tuesday, it was, uh, you know, at least to tell the people that we spend every Tuesday with, this has become our travel family. You know, we oh, yeah. hang out with everybody and we, you know, we all discuss, we learn yeah. from our chat all the time. They're the smartest people in well, the world. When we went live on Tuesday, she had eight she, subscribers. On my channel. Eight yeah, subscribers. I, I, on my channel. I didn't have a channel. It wasn't like, even a channel. It was just Lucy MGF. If this didn't happen, yeah. we would not have felt that overwhelming outpouring of just love and support and it's like wow like it means so much to us because it got us through the quarantine that was horrible and just to know that you know that's reciprocated oh my god i can't tell you what that did for us like it turned everything around for us everybody yeah. but that billy j guy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, he's our. Right. He knows I love him. He's on the cruise. That's right. Yeah, we're he knows we love him. him too. We've, We've met, met him. him. Yeah. <laughs> he knows we love him. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, well, we're caught up in the chat. That's great. We just like the bust on Billy J. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys. So, everybody in the chat, thank you for uh, popping up and subscribing to to the new MGM uh, 2.0. And hopefully they get uh, 1.0 back. And, uh, you guys can be back up and running and uh it's been great i think we so who we got a couple we got somebody over 100 tonight somebody else over 300 so just goes to show the power of this community and you know yeah they're well they're, they were they were just at 300 when they when we started i think they were 301 when we started so they're at 312 now which is wonder which family is cool. fun. yep wonder family fun got up over 100 mm -hmm. tonight um but yeah, no, that congratulations was, uh, to you guys. That's so yeah, exciting. Your first thousand is, is amazing. Yeah, the, that, the first thousand's Thank hard. You. The rest of them come easy. Yeah, yeah. that that first thousand, it, at the yeah. end of the first thousand, felt like the the stretch. So thank you. We we appreciate it. And it's still, yeah. it's surreal and still blows my mind that people want to talk, want to watch us. Like getting monetized <laughs> now, you can make your three cents a month. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, you, you search YouTube and you say, you know, does this really make any money? Like, and you know, then you start to see that first like two bucks, and it's like, whoa, two bucks! Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You do, you don't do it for, to become rich, but no, it's a way. labor. No, of no, it's fun. Yeah. This, no, it, we do this. We do this for the fun. We do it because you know, honestly, it was our and my favorite. My favorite our is kids is, idea. Is the people who think that. Like now because we're vlogging, or now because like whatever, like that will get like cruises for free. Like no, yeah, no. We pay for, no, we pay for our travel. No, we pay for. <laughs> but it's it's. We liked it's your funny. video on your free cruise. We watched that today. Yes. But because oh. we, we've received free cruises that have cost us over thousand dollars by the time it's all said and done. So, but you actually got a free cruise. So we usually get charged port fees, taxes. Gratuities. We and we always pay yeah. something, and then they give you onboard credit yeah. back. He plays in the mm -hmm. casino, so we don't get any we special have, deals. But but we have two deals. free vacations right now in our history, and they both have been the most expensive. I know. <laughs> both of them. So. And I love the hat, by the way. I love the bag. No. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. No, actually, that I mean, it wasn't a cruise, but that is probably our our funniest story was. Um, when, when Julie and I were first together, it was before we were married, I think. Um, yeah, it was a year we, before. We, yeah. My brother had a, a week of vacation that he couldn't use. And he said, hey, listen, you can use it. But, you know, if you want to change it to anywhere else, here's a whole list of places that you can use to change it to. And it'll only cost you 250 bucks to move it. So we moved it to Mexico. Cozumel. No, um, it was Mexico. Cancun. We moved it to Cancun. Mm -hmm. And that was right at the exact same time that bird flu hit. Um, and I was at a uh, bird flu or swine flu, one of the two, but I was at a training um, for work and um, I'm talking to her on the phone. She's like, oh, we can't go to Mexico. It's it's not safe. It's this. And I'm like, because it's all over the news. And I'm like, I, I, I'm not like this was long before COVID. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> dying of uh, whatever it was, swine flu or bird flu or whatever flu it was. Like, now we oh, laugh at those. We're going on a free vacation. <laughs> We have to change it. I'm like, ah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, whatever. And one of the guys from our training didn't show up back in class the one day and uh, found out that he had actually been taken to the hospital. Day. So I'm like, all right, yeah, you can change it. That's fine. You can change it. <laughs> we had to pay a change fee to, to the hotel to move it from 
Mexico to Aruba. Mexico. Then we had to pay a change fee on and the, the airline <laughs> plus the difference in the airfare. And then that was also the vacation that we learned how to play craps. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> That's a learning process. <laughs> so needless to say, that was the most expensive free vacation we ever went on. So that was... Uh, Yep. that was pretty funny Fun. but uh Good but yeah so no we love we love uh we love having you guys on we love yep. uh thank you so much for to chat with you guys and um you know we are going to organize with any of our northeast friends here we're going to get yeah, a tri-state yeah. group cruise and we're going to make bill go out of either new york or new jersey right. um even if we have to tie him up and drag him on Tony, the ship. <laughs> love going out of it is such an easy port to go well, out of Bayonne's so not really convenient. new york uh, Hey, you would go out of Bayonne. I'd love Bayonne. Bayonne. Bayonne is awesome. You would love going out of Bayonne. I, I've been over the Verrazano a hundred times. That's I tell them. You want to go, go under, under it. it. Yeah. There's nothing so, like yeah. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing like going under the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. And by the Statue of Liberty. And by the Statue of Liberty, which, yes, Josh, you will get to see the Statue of Liberty. I promise. Um, <laughs> but uh, under the Verrazano Narrows sh uh, Bridge on an Oasis-class ship while you're up on that top deck, and you feel like you can just reach up and just touch, yeah. touch the bridge. It, it it's uh, it's very surreal. Even Kevin was like, "We're gonna hit the bridge." Oh, that's in the video. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's saying, "We're gonna hit the bridge." <laughs> um, we'll get you guys on one of those. Uh, we're gonna get you on that. And then, um, uh, last minute plug. Do you guys have a group cruise or anything you need to to plug here? Do you need anybody to uh, sign up for? Or is the BBD sold out? BBD sold. Yeah, yeah it's, that it's one's in done. The it's sold out pretty we, much. I think the whole ship is sold out. We'll keep you posted on the next one. Yeah. We're just got to get through this one. <laughs> <laughs> so well, our next yeah. cruise is going to be the NCL Prima out of Ooh. Galveston. Uh, we nice. saw the videos for that today. But uh, our group cruise will be next June, June the 23rd of 2023. For anybody interested, they can reach out to us at uh, a couple Cabins at a pretty good Still rate. Still have a couple Double cabins occupancy, left. Balconies. Julie was able to rate. grab a couple more, so we'll just put that put that pop down there. So we got that. If anybody's interested in that, feel free to reach out to us, or we'll be back live again next Sunday. Now, will you guys be live on Tuesday? We're we, open. We will. We right, will. So don't we will. forget to stop by MGM Family Travel. I know Tuesday's a busy night. I think uh, Eddie and Laura are on Tuesdays we'll also. Go, so they go on at seven. Down. Yeah, so make sure you stop in with everybody. Subscribe to everybody in the chat. Um, yes, please. And Keep us posted, guys. Let us know how you're doing we for will. sure. And uh, yeah, if yeah, when you hit and you go live, and we're we're definitely gonna be logging on. Thank that. you guys for having. Thank us. you so much, and congrats well, thank again. You everybody. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks no. for, for joining. You know, glad to yeah. make new cruise friends. And um, if yeah. we don't see you on a cruise before we see you in Jersey, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Awesome so. stuff. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, it's been fun. It's been a lot. And um, we'll see you on the seas. Yeah, see you on the seas. Great. Bye, Bye guys. Good night. Bye.